Hey, podcaster. I'm Tim Wahlberg, your podcast performance coach, with another actionable tip so you can sound like a pro and gain more podcast fans. Today's tip is don't phone in your episode title. How much time do you spend on creating a great title for your episode? Well, double it. I can tell you that a lot of people are getting it wrong. You don't have to look far to find the people who are phoning it in. A great episode title is going to do two things. It's going to get you found on the web because you've used best SEO practices and it's going to get people clicking on your episode because, wait for it, you've thought about the listener. You've made it easy for them to know that this episode has value and that it's going to serve them. Here are three things to consider when writing your next episode title. Number one, be clear and direct. Tell your listener exactly what they can expect. But be careful. Don't take this literally. I've seen this. Episode 28, Interview with Bill Smith. That's a file name, not an episode title. Tell me what Bill Smith is going to say. Tell me the value Bill Smith is delivering. Plus, who the hell is Bill Smith? Unless it's Barack Obama or Oprah, I might not know the name or need to know it either. I'm more concerned about the content. Drop mad value in your title. What's in it for the listener? Number two is don't cross the line into clickbait. I know that fear is a marketing tactic. I know sensationalizing a title has its benefits, but don't lie to people. Don't tell them that this is going to be the one and only podcast that they need to listen to or they might die. Stay away from the clickbait and stay away from misleading titles. The worst thing you can do for your podcast is to tick off your listener by having a title that entices them and excites them only to find out that you're talking to your mom about laundry. That was the biggest pet peeve I heard from people when I hit the streets about podcasts that they listen to. You can lose your credibility pretty quick by misleading your listener. Number three is use SEO best practices. You want your title to help your podcast get found in search engines. So use those best practices. Now, I'm a podcast coach. I use SEO best practices, but there are far better people than me to help you figure out how to do that. Let me just say, it's worth you spending a little bit of time on this, looking into the structure of your title, the keywords that you're using, find SEO tools that can test your titles with, spend some time making sure that your podcast is getting found when people are searching for the topic of your episode. Ultimately, this is going to help you achieve the goals that you have for your podcast. In most cases, your podcast is about growing your authority, helping people understand and know what your business does and what services you have to offer. The whole point of a podcast for a lot of businesses is to help them improve their overall SEO. Do you see how irrelevant your file name of interview with Bill Smith is? It's never going to get found. Unlike a title like double your tomato production in three steps. Wow, okay, now I know what I'm going to get. Plus, I love making my own salsa. Why wouldn't I click on this? Don't underestimate the value of a good title. If you doubt it, go back and take a look at your past titles and how they coincide with your download numbers. Chances are, if the numbers are high, you had a good topic with a good title. And that title drew people in. A good title will get people clicking and will help them decide which of your podcast episodes they're going to listen to first, when they find you. Take a look at some of the other popular podcasts that you listen to. Look at how their titles are structured and see how yours measure up. So, three things to remember here. One, say what it is. Don't just use a file name as your title. And remember to include the benefit to your listener. Number two, don't sensationalize it. Don't oversell it or mislead anyone. Don't turn your title into clickbait. And three, use SEO best practices. Start using SEO tools. Use the same language your listener would use when searching in your niche. Using these tips will help you reach your goals as a podcaster because you're going to attract the right people to your podcast. And I hope that's just the tip you need. Revamping the way you write titles. 
This is just one thing I revealed to a recent client of mine in a 15-minute coaching call. They wanted to grow their audience. Well, within a few minutes, we looked back and we saw that this would be a game changer for her because her content was great. All she needed was help getting found. If you want a free 15-minute coaching call, book it. It's you and me talking specifically about your podcast. Just go to podcastperformancecoach.com. I'm Tim Walbert. See you.